Uh, I mean, I think of geek culture as being overly dominated by like white dudes. So pretty much anything outside of that, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like strays. I hadn't thought much about it till I heard till he was telling me about the show, and then it's like I guess I do always uh, kind of picture a white guy or a white girl. Um, so I'm really fascinated by what this is going to talk about. Uh, yeah. I still have friends who, if I tell them certain things, they're like, what? You do that? <laughs> That's a thing? Like, I just told a friend a couple months ago that I went to Comic-Con, and you're like, what? I don't understand. I was like, I, 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 I thought I knew you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's still that out there. I think it's like any other kind of group. There's always uh, a pathway that we got to take to everyone gets, uh, gets a full idea of what we are. Well, not really. I mean, I don't really know it's a race. I mean, I do know it's just a bit of a stigma between people who aren't into the cosplaying scene and people who are. But usually, I just go in and enjoy, enjoy the events. And events like these are a very good place to meet people who are into the same things as, as I am. Um, as a matter of fact, I have. Um, I do cosplay. And so um, I'm always looking for something, somebody to dress up as. And I usually go by um, character over looks. And so when I, when I find a character that I'm like, hey, this dude's exactly like me, um, I'll, I'll just go all in. I'll, go out, I'll, I'll get a costume. I'll be like, all right, let's do this. Um, there, there have been some times where I'll, I'll be walking into like an anime convention, for example. I'll be walking by and... and I'll get the odd. I'll get the off remark. Oh, you're you're Vash. You're cosplaying Vash, but you're not white, and you don't have spiky blonde hair and green eyes, and it does hurt sometimes. Um, I'd like to say I grew out of it, but not quite honestly, I haven't heard in a while, so I, can, I don't really know. But yeah, I've I've gone through that kind of thing. Well, you know, I think you know one thing that we didn't really get to in the discussion here, but it's uh, I mean the fact that. You know, this is hosted by a all African American cosplay group is already just kind of telling. You know that that there needs to be a definition of this is an African American cosplay. You know, versus just cosplay. You know, uh, and and that's and that's telling because that is different. That is unusual, and the fact that that's unusual is kind of a lot of what the show kind of addresses. It, it, it's something that I've not noticed so much myself. Um, and if, if, when I do notice it, I notice more myself doing it to others rather than it being done to me, um, which I think I think this kind of spoke to as well. Um, you know, j just kind of that idea, and I, I do think that's something that's inherent in gaming, is that here's choose which of the boxes, wh which of these set of boxes do you identify with, and then but it is kind of more like about well what about if none of those boxes work so i think that's cool um it's like yeah i noticed that and, like in the culture yes because um i've actually like around a lot of people because of course with the color of our of most african americans where we all get stereotyped for like we're stuck for certain roles or like for example like let's say someone cosplays from the boondocks like oh you're cosplaying because you're black i'm like no that's because we like that show but yes, it's also in the community and also online because um, I kind of randomly stumbled upon a video from a guy saying like proud to be Asian and he was bagging on Western West Coast cosplaying like on our side of town thinking like Asians should only cosplay and we're just making an insult to him. I'm like first of all that ain't true. I can say from vi from videos, from knowing people and heck doing it myself, I've seen people cosplay amazing results and they could be in the United States. Okay, I'll be honest, we have our fails, we have our epics, and we have the holy crap, how the heck did you pull that off? But nonetheless, I can say, yes, it has happened, but like I, like I said before um, when I was watching everyone, it's all about that power. Too much power, you're gonna get you're gonna forget where you came from. That's why you stick stay true to yourself and it's all good. And very much you stay good to your people, they'll stay good to you, especially when you need them in their direct time of need. A little bit. I mean it's kind of fun to see sort of the race bending or the uh, gender bending stuff with uh, cosplay. It definitely helps it stand out a little more and um, garners a little more attention. I am seeing a lot more of the uh, the idea that it doesn't uh, you can uh, 
cosplay as any character that you really like, regardless of uh, race uh, and, and and certainly other factors. And that's really interesting to see, because um, as far as like if you just look at uh, your general lineup of comic characters, there are not. A, I mean, a, it is mostly white, and so there aren't a lot of. Uh, if you're only gonna cosplay corn to your race, unless you're white, there's not a lot to go around. Honestly, I haven't seen it as a stigma within the culture. Uh, I have seen a greater stigma all essentially on the other side where people who, like Ashford was saying, if you are participating in what you're not supposed to be doing, I've seen it of that way. But, I mean, honestly, it seems to be the general thing, you know.